When I was small, maybe I was in the eighth standard. When examination comes, I become very spiritual. Early morning, the first door opening of the temple, the first Adi I must see. Adi Kenyatta. Mahamangala. Mahamangala Adi. I watch this. It's early morning, early morning. It's very cold. I take bath and I go to the temple, come back. Every examination, you know, every examination time. I think God is there. All the time, God is there. So one day when I was going, walking out of my house, up just uh, 200 feet away from my house, there's a very small hut. The poorest of the poor family in the whole local locality, drunkards, and the whole area considered them as poor and cheap. As I was nearing their house, they called me inside. Please, today is the first of the month. Please come and keep your feet, and we will be blessed. I went inside, sat, and I came out for a second. I was shocked because in that whole locality, nobody likes, nobody talks to me because I was the naughtiest, not ordinary naughtiest, gang fights, street fights. When they called me inside, from that day I felt somebody is loving me, and I slowly stopped, stopped coming out of the. I was in standing on the street and making fun because these people are watching. They called me. I couldn't believe. And the naughtiest people, who, all including the house people, called me. I'm the dirtiest guy because of every day. Eight standard, you mean? Eight standard. I mean street face. I went from my school school day when I was in nine standard. By then, my my parents now shifted to my grandfather's house after his death in the village. And I refused to go. So my next door auntie, who was uh, I don't know whether she loved me or not, but she always talks to me, and she gave me accommodation to stay in the house. Her husband was a statistics professor, and I loved him so much because he's always jokingly he talked to me. I went to the uh, annual day, school annual day, and. I was having a street fight outside the school. Outside the school, gangs, local gangs, not ordinary school boys. They, they are head work, head load workers, junior gang people. Around six, seven, eight people surrounded me and fight. I did not go. Kick left, right. The whole school, whole area, everybody was shocked. I was in ninth standard. I'm talking, and of course my shirt and all got torn, and I couldn't walk. Shot in the night, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock. I slowly crept inside. My auntie never asked. She took my shirt, washed it, and she stitched it and said, "Oh, in the annual day, you were playing with the boys." She knew I fought because. And when I left the auntie, I knew nobody was loving me. Everybody is finding fault in me, and I was a lonely man, boy going around. And when I was sick. I was shocked, Auntie, right in front of our house, and when uh, Auntie left, Mom said Auntie left a lot of money and a lot of food I made it for me. I was shocked, Auntie loved me so much. The statistics professors, what <laughs> love can move mountains. Love changed me for me to sit over here. Small, small instances. Love also said being deeply loved by someone gives you. Strength. While loving someone deeply gives you courage. I think this is my real life. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength. Deeply loved by someone to get deeply loved, you have to love your talents. You have to love the trees in front of. Your house. When you love a small plant, and when you water the plant, and when you see the plant gives you the first flower, you fell deeply in love with that plant because you know that watering and taking care will give you the results. It blooms beautifully. That is the first love, not the other love, not the other crush. You should learn to love being deeply loved when someone gives you strength. When somebody loves you, who is loving you? Of course, your mother or your father. 
but I do not know whether I got that, leave it. But the plants and the trees and the birds, I see the turkey when I'm walking from she she looked like that and she made cook, cook, cook. She loved me. And I could go to her and talk and she talks to me. Maybe gibberish, but she loves talking. <laughs> Deeply we the love when someone gives you strength. That gave me strength because for a moment uh, I forget all the pain and the joy. For a moment I forget the past, present, future. It stops for a moment that the world has stopped for me to talk to my turkey. And my quack, 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 my geese, she always said, seriously, she will get full high up to the sky and say, quack, 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 quack. And I have to talk to you, quack, 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 quack. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength. But you have to learn to accept. If you have not learned to love a particular plant or a bird or the cattle, like how Kavita Rani loves the cat so deeply, you cannot accept love because you do not know how to accept love. When love comes, you close your heart and the door. By being deeply loved by someone gives you strength. That when somebody loves you, you know it is strength because their strength flows into you. Like how I tell my children, when you marry and go to your husband's house, you take his strength towards you. If their father and mother and the relatives and all of their connecting link, you should learn to take it instead of fighting back. Yes, it might be painful in the beginning. It might be himsy, torturous for the materialistic world. But if you open it up, you can see huge amount of strength in you. While loving someone deeply gives you courage. And from there, you will love someone so deeply, you could feel it because uninhibited love. Without any thinking, you could love somebody that gives you the courage. Seeing your courage, no disease there comes near you and you will never find poverty, you will only see richness, the spiritual richness, the mental richness and of course the financial richness is, makes you so courageous. These are the two points which makes the in and the year, positive and negative, only can create electricity. Think about it, meditate on it. Being deeply loved by someone gives you strength. Nothing more than the loves he could give. He understood that. That's so beautiful. Being loved yeah, by someone gives you strength. Yes, we all run around to take so many medicines to become strong. But you forgot to love. Be, and being loved, to get being loved, you have to love yourself by practicing your Sanskrit. And for everything, you know how to know the value. Akshita Deshmukh entered and with a bang on the door, I said, please go back and open the door without making noise, she did it. And I said, now you say sorry to the door because you made noise. She went and did it. That is the deep love. If you can know how to, how to handle things without making noise, like the honey bee goes to every flower without disturbing the flower. But look at us, human beings, plus the flower, it hurts. Honey we takes the nectar of the flower and makes honey. It can go to any amount of flowers, but without disturbing the flowers. Love also has taught us. And if you practice, I think together we can wipe out more tears and bring down hunger. Together we can roll like a thousand men over oh, real. The strength of a thousand men where when you leave Rakum school, you will be able to feed a thousand people because we took money and food from thousands of people. We should be grateful to 
returning back. Lao Tzu said, being deeply loved by someone gives you strength. While loving someone deeply gives you courage.